Hello and welcome back to the channel. Oh, it's your phone going, isn't it? <laughs> um, do you want to quickly grab it? Yeah. Sorry about that, we had to just cut that. Lucy's daughter just rang. Just, it's always the same time, just as you're about to film. Kids <laughs> ring. Right, so we're going to do an unboxing video, and this one is from Martin at Bugs UK. So Bugs and with a Z. Yeah, Bugs with a Z. I'll put a link in the description for them. I'll put the logo up on the screen there so you can see who it is. The knife. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're going to unbox that and I found my trusty knife from Peter Webster. He sent these out to quite a few YouTubers, so I always end up using a blunt kitchen knife, so hopefully this will be a lot you better. Moan about it, be so crazy. there's only the one item in here, but it's a big box, so let's have a look what's in here. Sweet. Look see. Oh my god, that's cutting right through. That's <laughs> like Simple blunt pleasures. Spin that around. Urgent living creatures handled with care. Uh -huh. I always wonder what the postmen think when they, uh, <laughs> yeah, they must have to scared. deliver that. <laughs> What's inside? Oh, packed really, really well. Loads of packing chips. Per usual. Ooh, it's got a bit of weight to it. Has it? Yeah. <gasps> Hello, little oh, it's fella. got my name on there. Oh, quality. <gasps> Hello, little fella. Well, I'm not going to say what it is yet. I'm going to open it up and then see if you can guess. Right, so let's just check the box. Lovely warm heat pack. Really well packaged. So thanks very much to Martin for that. We've got... Okay, we've got a temporary enclosure for a minute. We'll have to upgrade to a bigger enclosure, but Lucy's done that as per normal. Per usual. So it's not going to be staying in here, indefinitely. Hmm? The water. Nice damp know. substrate. Yeah, I did right. that earlier. Catch cup just in case, because we don't know the temperament of this one. And normally if you get them from somebody else, they could be a bit more yeah, <laughs> skittish. Feisty. But let's have a look. Cut away from myself. Ouch, straight into my finger. Just to cut away from myself whilst cutting yourself. <laughs> oh, you love it. It didn't pierce the skin because I'm double hard. Uh, okay. You're triple hard, babe. I know. Right. <laughs> I love what they put on there as well. It says what it is, but care when opening. Yeah. Real savage face. <laughs> oh, I need some tongs. We'll attack if provoked. Let's give everybody a few seconds and see if they can guess what it is. Can you guess what it is? Who says that? Oh, yep, struck already. Really? Oh, yep, yeah, twice. <gasps> oh. Biting. Ooh, and again. Is it stuck to the tissue? No, it's just bit it. Ooh, and again, oh, just bit no. it again. Oh, I'm feeling a little bit close. <laughs> Which way is it facing? You. Oh, really? Yeah. Are I'll you winding me up? No, oh. no, seriously, I'll turn it around. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. It is stuck to his bum, isn't it? Oh, no, it's turned around again. Oh, jeez, Louise. Jeez, Louise? He's, why, I don't, yeah, I don't know why I said that. Jeez, Louise. Come on, little fella. Little? Ah. Right, if you can guess what it is. That's a standard thing to have on your coffee table. Absolutely stunning. Let me just go in for a close-up. Yeah, you can do that. I think everybody can guess what it is now in the hobby. For those of you that are new to my channel, um, new to us in the hobby as well, as a general, this is a Therophosa Sturmy, the Burgundy Goliath Bird Eater. This one is unsexed. I did ask for a male, as we have um, a very large sub-adult female. I think she's actually twice the size of this. Mm. But this one already, I said if we could have a potential male, so we had a look and then see if we can get one. I do actually think this so potentially looks like... 
Yeah, that's just at a different stage of molt. Okay. Um, but what I'm looking at here is the legs. On our female, her legs were a lot more chunkier at this size. A lot thicker. Yeah, this one has got a lot of, um, basically it's just leggier. But then again, I have seen some mature males that have really thick bodies and legs. <laughs> I know I'm shaking just a bit off today. Right, so let's see how we're going to get this Do you ever wonder, like, in. what the heck he's thinking? He's like, I was in a tub, and I've got some dude talking with this thing hanging over me. Where the heck am I? You are. Right. I'd love to know what they think. Are you going to come up, or are you going to sit down in there, mate? Careful, because it can move quick under yeah. there. Well, you'll soon know if it does, because I'll... The camera will bolt. With me. There you go, let his feet come on. Oh, hello. Right. There's a hamster over there you could eat. <laughs> Alright, just be careful with the hairs on this one. Yeah, I know. It's already kicked quite a few hairs in here. Okay. But they stuck to the tissue as well. Right, knowing these, because it's a new one, it will turn around to face where I've touched. Yep. No? Okay. So if you like, didn't clean up all those hairs and then you touched it by mistake but went anywhere near your eye or whatever, would that yeah. still get in? Yeah. Yeah, that can be bad. Like, I've been haired by our female of this and it itched my arms for a good few solid hours and then I had a light rash but I deal with it better. Okay. I can leave it and not itch. Oh, if you itch, it embeds more. And yeah. then it, some people get real bad rashes. Okay. They come right over the body. Um, what you normally would do then, I would say, is get duct tape, put it around oh, your to hand, pick it up. duct tape yeah. your arm, wherever you've got it, and then have a cold shower. <laughs> duct tape your eyeball. <laughs> Alright, you ready? No. <laughs> I just want to get it out so we can have a look. It's yeah. quite calm. Oh, you're lovely. Wet. Hello. Look at this, the Hi silk, dude. how fine that is. Oh yeah. I don't think you can see, oh yeah, you can see it on the camera now. Not right. barely though. Beautiful. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. So this will do for a temporary enclosure, but you can see the size already we're going to have yeah. to, because it will literally just sit there, come in, that'd be it's fine. It's got a nice a little bit. cave to hide in anyway. Yeah, it has, yeah. So we will upgrade it, so it's only temporary, but now... So that's not too high for it to climb over? I'm not going to let it climb up oh. that. No, I'll put it in if here. If it did... Um, from there, technically, it should be fine because I've seen the female we've got. She's got um, an absolutely massive abdomen. I'll see what we can do is if I add on some footage here on the screen. So she got a huge booty. We'll just show you the size of her. So hoping this one's a male. Give it some time. But she's actually climbed up some of her enclosure and fell off. And she's been absolutely okay. fine. But now she doesn't do it. When they get past a certain size, they seem to know not to climb yeah. vertically. But they can that's okay. the thing but she just doesn't but I'm not going to allow this one to climb it's got the lift here, as well so yeah. I'm going to okay. put it in the catch cup and then Let's do it put it straight in oh it's going to go on a walk about <laughs> we're having an explore they're so gentle when it's going back in the tub oh 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 I only moved slightly that was an overreaction of a camera jolt in them. It's because you look at, when you look at the camera, you can't see exactly where it is, and it freaks me out a little bit. This is actually quite chilled. I'm just they move that up the web. so gracefully with their legs when they're having a stroll. Majestic. It's actually really, really easy. Come on. Oh, you're so chill. And then if you move around. Done. Simples. There you go, that's signature Goliath. Look at the webbing down there. Can you get some better shot? Uh-huh. So look at that. I think this was um, advertised at nine centimeters. I think it's slightly bigger, um, but really, really 
Looks good coloration. Healthy as well. And really chilled as yeah. well. So nice dark cave that can fit in there as well. Uh, temporary enclosure, but it's got enough room for it. So this is absolutely brilliant. So really, really happy with this yeah, one. So do a... go and check out Bugs UK, Bugs with a Z. Uh, they've got plenty of stuff on there at the minute. So thanks very much for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Laters.